Discogs, I've got a few things that I think you guys should change and fix. Want to hear me out? Last fall, I put together a video about Discogs and five things that I really think Discogs should change. Well, I don't know if they listened or not, but one of the items on that list was all about the want list and making some very much needed improvements. About a month ago, they came out with this. We are thrilled to announce the news that Discogs has acquired WantLister. Today, I have access. You might have access as well. I'm going to dig in and give you my thoughts from my first look at Discogs WantLister. So right here is my Discogs want lister page. I've got my marketplace link here. I've got my want list here. If I click on this, this just takes me back to Discogs and my want list over there. Want lister is kind of like a bolt on that allows me to explore deeper and, and have a lot more customizability and shopability. I can see over here who is selling what. I can see how many ratings they have. Like. This person has one rating and 100%, and they're selling one item that is $1,000. And it's, of course, the new Jack White no-name secret release that he just dropped a few days back. Over here, we have three dots, and I can see more from this seller. I can focus on this release, and I can block this seller. Malpays has a few different items from Camera Obscura. So let me just dig deeper on that and take a look at more from this seller. And here I can see they've got one, two, three, four, five items that I want. If I click on the item, this jumps me out of Want Lister again straight to the item in the cart and I can add it to my cart. I can, in this particular case, make an offer and so forth. So let's clear my clear focus. And we're back to the main page of WantLister. So let's dig in and explore this filter because this is so cool. So if we open up the filter, we can see right at the top, I can limit to the seller location. Personally, I tend to prefer buying things within the United States because that's where I am. I don't have to worry about paying international shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and narrow it down to United States and that has cut out anyone who is outside of the States. Next, minimum seller rating. I can change this all the way up to 100 if I wanted to, or I can just drop it back down to 90. Um, let's say 92.5. Next is minimum media condition and sleeve condition. Personally, I really don't like to have things less than a VG in my collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and say VG across the board. Moving on to maximum price. I'm going to put a high minimum price of 400. I've got some things in mind. Now I can search by format. Well, it's always going to be LP for me or 7 inch. Now, it almost would be nice to have kind of like a top section that has the most common, you know, your LP, 10 inch, 7 inch, CDs cassettes, but they don't have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in LP and select that. Now I can choose by artist. So the one I'm looking for, I saw camera obscura earlier. I'm going to go camera obscura and we're going to take a look at camera obscura specifically. Well, no matches. You'll see right here, try real time notifications. And we're going to get into that in a second. But first, Let's scroll back up and let's remove the United States. And now I can see, ooh, look at that. Biggest, bluest, hi-fi. The one item that I was kind of looking for is right here. And it's only being sold in Japan. It's the only item out there. So what I can do is I can say, you know what? 400 is really my maximum. I'm going to go back to United States. And I'm going to do what they recommend. Try enabling real-time notifications. So real-time notification. I'm going to enter camera obscura. I'm just going to call it biggest bluest hi-fi after the album name. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And so now I've saved a real-time notification. If somebody in the United States decides to sell it and on top of that, sell it less than $400, then I will be notified. I would love to get a text message for this in the future. I always have my phone on me. I don't always check my email. I don't always check the notifications. So having text message capability would be great. So that's something I hope to see in the future. I'm going to create a new filter and I'm going to change it to United States. 
Again, I'm going to go to VG and VG, preferably higher. And I'm going to say my minimum price is 75. My format is LP. Really, I don't need to check that one because what I'm looking for is actually an LP. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And it's going to be tapes and tapes. And one thing I really wish is that this release would narrow it. It would, it would auto default kind of double check the other items on the list and say, okay, well, uh, because I'm only searching tapes and tapes, I'm only going to show tapes and tapes releases. Not a big deal because I know what I'm looking for and I can select the loon if I wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm just going to say tapes and tapes less than 75 because it's the only thing that I have in the want list by tapes and tapes. I'm going to turn off my daily digest. I'm going to turn on my real time notifications and say uh, tapes the loon. And now let's save it. And now there it is up there. And I can toggle between these different saved searches with my auto notification as well. I love this. I love this a lot. So let's see what else we can do with this. Now, this is another area where I really wish they kind of had some functionality around because I don't see a way to just revert back to my general setting. If I go to new filter, that's the way I have to do it. I have to get out of my filter. I have to basically create a new filter, which just seems a little ridiculous to me. And now that I'm in the new filter, I click on that and it takes me back. And so now I'm fine. I've cleared that out, but I can still go and toggle between my two existing filters. So I'm going to do another filter. I'm going to say, you know, I just want United States. And I'm going to I'm going to do my standard VG and VG. And this time I'm going to say include sleeveless items because I know I've got seven inches that just have generic sleeves or they don't have anything listed under sleeves. Personally, whenever I list something on Discogs, I always specify what kind of sleeve it has. If it's a seven inch and there's no picture sleeve or anything like that, I select generic. Maximum price, I, I you know, really I'm not, I'm not going to look for anything that's more than $200. By format, so let's say seven inch, and let's say 10 inch, and let's say LP. So I can actually add multiple different formats to the list. And so now with this, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna worry about artists. I'm not gonna worry about releases. This is just my daily digest and search filter for United States. So now that I have that, I can toggle accordingly. I can see here's all the things in the United States that are less than $200 that fit those three format types. One more new filter. So, I, you know, I was just thinking about this and I'm like, you know, I, I want to change it up a little bit. Limited to United States. VG, VG. I'm going to do a more high end search now. I'm going to say minimum price is 400 uh, format, not going to worry about it because I'm, I'm really just going to filter by artist and tapes and tapes. And so now, you know what, because Camera Obscura is throwing in some seven inches, I am going to limit it to LPs. So I can see in the United States, these are the ones that are in this list. I'm going to turn on my real time notifications, turn off the daily digest and let's name it top dollar. Save that. And now I have that underneath my my saved searches because I've done that. I, I can now delete my tapes and tapes one and I can delete my biggest, bluest hi-fi one. I have the one search that's my top dollar real-time notification. So anything that pops up that's within those two releases, I'm gonna get notified. I love that. 
there you have it. It is the Discogs Want Lister, the first look. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely loving it. This is exactly what Discogs has needed to do to the want list for a long time. And frankly, it's what they've needed to do to the shopping experience for a very long time. What do you think of the new Discogs want lister experience? I love it. You know I love it. I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below. As people tend to say quite regularly, this dude is a damn nerd. I am Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. I'll see you in the next video, which might actually be the unveiling of my record room.